So my neighbor is going up the mast today, um, mostly just to install my new wind indicator. Um, there are a couple other things that's going on. Um, like one, I think he's gonna have to take that antenna back down. It's my new uh, VHF antenna. It's my old one like literally got blown off by the lightning. Um, but he can't get enough cable to pull out to put a new connector on it. I think somebody zip tied all the wires like at the bottom, bottom of the mast. So um, until that mast gets taken off and all the wiring redone, um, I think I'm going to be running new wire from the uh, VHF radio to the back of the boat. And um, the um, new antenna is going to get mounted to the solar panels. Like I said, until that mast gets pulled down. Um, which I don't plan on doing anytime soon. Um, and then, of course, um, my LED, my brand new LED spreader lights, um, one of them went out. So I've already reordered some new ones, and um, they're not in yet, so they won't be going up today. But, um, you know, so it's a work in progress. It's getting there, though. So we'll see. Hopefully all goes well. There's my wind indicator. My new wind indicator. <laughs> I have never climbed the mast yet. We'll have to do that one day. I'm going to have to YouTube that because um, I don't have a boatswain's chair like he has where he can go up by himself. Mine has to have like somebody helping you. Um, but there is a way to do it on your own. I can't remember the channel I saw it on. Hmm, witch doctor? I think it was witch doctor. Um, but yeah, he was telling you how you can go up on your own um, without needing that type of chair right there so I'm gonna have to rewatch that uh, video and find out so I can go up on my own although I am um, kind of afraid of heights the antenna is gonna have to get mounted to the solar panel like right there in those little screw holes uh, it's unfortunate but it is what it is This is what you call working in tight spaces. Um, so I had to remove this wall right here because um, I got to run cable for the VHF, which is going to go up here. It's going to go from the front behind the radio itself on the captain's table, and I'm going to run it all the way down this channel. I'm going to have to. Um, I need see. I need some. Um, they're like a little adhesive cable ties, so I've got to get some of those. And then I'm going to run the cable down through this channel here behind these LED lights. And it's going to go all the way to, um, I'm going to feed it into that corner right there. And um, see that vent hose? The vent hose is um, goes up to a vent um, outside, so I'm going to um, probably cut a hole in there in that vent tubing and feed the cable through it and have it go up outside the vent <laughs> and um, run it upside the up the dinghy davits, and that's where my antenna is going to go because, as you already know, 
um, I can't get enough line in it. I can't get enough VHF cable um, to um, to pull up out of the mass at the top because I think somebody zip tied it. I think they zip tied like all the wires at the bottom of the mast. So I don't want to take the mast down. Um, maybe later eventually. Um, for right now, the antenna is going to go on the back of the boat and um, get mounted to the solar panels. That thing sticking down, I got to take that down because behind that, the helm. And um, I gotta run transducer wiring run from the cockpit to down the helm and feed it, tie it into the power supply. So I have power to the trans mount transducer um, because it goes to the fish finder. And the fish finder, obviously, it shows depth back to work. Reach that way. I tell y'all what, it's a good thing that I'm small because I can fit in these tight spaces. Alright, we got some more screws over there that I can't reach. Alright. One more. Alright. All good. Alright, so this is what we got. Let me turn this around. Huh. Wow. Old VHF radio, West Marine, and it's fine. It still works, but I'm changing it out. Look at that tiny skinny cable. Look how skinny that is. Um, I'm changing it out because my neighbor gave me this one, and this one has AIS on it. This one has AIS on it, so it's a better, it's a better radio. The new stuff. Look how fat that is. Okay, I'm about to drill a hole. Where's that drill? I'm about to, about to drill a hole in that vent hose. Okay, so I got the wire running through the vent. Um, I am gonna have to, I'm just gonna duct tape around that hole. Um, to close it up so I've got the cable ran through the vent and I've got it running up right now I've got black zip ties on there because it's all I had on hand but um, I'm gonna change those out for clear um, but anyways so it's running the cable is running up along the dinghy davit and um, it's going up here behind oh where's it at up here behind holes and then it's going underneath the solar panel oh gosh what is it called LMR 400 it's really thick wiring and it's pretty good stuff so um, hopefully it works out we'll see so hopefully we'll get the transducer wire ran this weekend and um, figure out a way to mount the transducer to the transom I have no idea on that one yet but um, I'm getting really anxious to take this boat out. I need some experience to sell and maneuver this thing on my own. Um, I'm really wanting to leave this spring. I keep getting pushed back and pushed back and I'm just like so ready to go. I'm just like about to lose it. I want to go, I want to get out of here. Um, so we'll see how it goes this weekend. Hopefully we can get that done so we can get out on the water again and um i'll see you guys next week